Hey guys, welcome back to another 8-Bit Squid Games Playmaker tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to create your own custom actions for Playmaker using ChatGPT. So what you will need is obviously a ChatGPT account or any kind of similar AI, I believe, should work as long as it can write scripts. Uh, you'll also need Visual Studio. So I want here, I've got Visual Studio 2022. Um, and basically for this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a script, which a Playmaker action script, which will appear in here and will rotate our cube here on one of the axes on either maybe the, let's say the X, Y, or Z axis, 360 degrees. So it's going to return like this, essentially. There we go. Or maybe like this. Or like this. And we'll try and get it to do it um, all the time. So, what you're going to need is to go to ChatGPT. Now, I've already got that open, so I'm just going to open it up. Okay, And here is where we're going to tell ChatGPT what we want it to do. So, we need to be very clear. So, I want to say, please write a custom... Spell right wrong. Why did I put another T? Play maker action to rotate a 3D object on either the X, Y, or Z axis 360 degrees. And so we can actually now give it some more information. Like, for example, I want to have checkboxes. Please. Have check boxes to choose which axis it will rotate on and an option for it to um, rotate non-stop. Okay, so I'll put that in. <clears throat> So why it does this, one thing we want to do is copy this here, the, the name, the public class, and it will be in red. It'll be like, for example, mine's called Rotate360. We need to copy this. So I'm going to copy this, and then I'm going to go back into Playmaker, and we're going to go into Playmaker, not Custom Actions, uh, this one here, Actions, and we can just literally add it here. You can make a folder for it, but here we need to paste the name that you copied from the script. So, this name here. Okay? What comes after public class and before the colon. We copy that name. If it's not identical, the name of the script is not identical to this here, it's not going to work. Right, so... Now that's done, I'm going to double click to open it up. Just move this onto the correct screen when it finishes loading. Okay. Now, 
we can just delete all of this. Okay, and then we're going to go here. This should have finished now. It's going to tell you some information here. All we can do is then copy this. Put it onto this script. That's all here now. All right, so you can see here it's saying we've got six errors. Okay. Um, I know how to fix this. It's a problem that chat GPT will make all the time because of the tool tip. But uh, we'll see what it looks like here. Yeah. So we can actually go to our console and it's going to tell us here that tool tip is ambiguous, is an ambiguous reference between this here. Okay. So what you can do is literally just copy and paste this into chat GPT. But we could also just do tell it there's a problem. So here, look, I say there is an issue with tooltip. Can you please fix this? And then it realizes the mistake it made. And it will rewrite the script and hopefully it will fix the issue with tooltip. Okay, so let's copy that. We'll go back into this. Let's close that one so I don't have that issue. Okay, I'm going to select it all. And then I'm just going to paste in a new version, save it. Maybe it didn't fix the issue. Let me try again. Okay, still there uh, are still issues with cool tips. We'll see if this fixes it. If not, we'll just use the, uh, the errors that it gives us. Because before just telling it the problem has fixed the issue. Yeah, okay, so it's not fixing it for some reason here. So we'll just copy the error. So we just go to there and just... Control C, highlight it, control C, and we'll paste it in. And hopefully this will actually now fix it. <clears throat> okay, let's see. And there we go. Okay, so now no issues found. So we'll go in. Obviously, it's uh, compiling at the moment. Okay, perfect. So now we have our own custom action. So we're going to click on the cube. We'll go to Playmaker. We'll add an FSM. Let's call it Rotate. Okay, and then let's call this Spin. So if we type in rotate, and we have it here, look, our custom action rotate 360, use owner, we'll say rotate on the Z, non-stop duration, let's say uh, 20. We'll hit play. And hopefully, You can see it rotating there. Now there is an issue. Um, I should have put a colon, a colon, a comma, 
between X and Y in this in the request we gave to it. So we'll click on that and see what happens. But in, in that way, it kind of works because it gives us a kind of strange rotation. And if we choose all of them there, it's going to rotate like that. Um, obviously, because we've got the error there, we can actually tell ChatGPT it should rotate on the X, Y, or Z. And what we can also do is actually add something to it. For example, please make it, please make an option to choose in which direction it will rotate. Okay, and then this will now spit out an improved script. We'll click copy. Click now, control A to select all of it, then control V, save it. Still no issues found, that's a good sign. Obviously, if you're used to uh, Visual Studio, you'll know that's fine. You'll find it easier. It's mostly for people who are new to it. Okay, so now we can choose here in a drop-down menu. Sadly, it didn't give us the option to... Um, The direction of rotation but again it should be checkboxes not drop down so we can say the option for axis should be check boxes not a drop down menu It's already understood that what we want to do, we want to use multiple. So, obviously, it's quite good at knowing what you want to do, but you need to make sure you're really clear. Even when you do an update to it, like here, I should have said here, because it got individually. So, it assumed I meant I only want to rotate one at a time. All right, so that's finished. Also, if you wanted to know more, it will explain here what it does and how to use it, but we'll put it in. Okay, all green, and we'll open it up. Let it finish updating. All right, so we've got the drop-down menus again. So we can say X, Y, or Z. You can choose either, so then we'll hit play. <clears throat> uh, on the X, we hit Y. And then on the Z, it'll have more of a kind of a weirder kind of rotation to it then. But yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you create your own custom actions. It's just kind of trial and error because you're using chat GPT. Um, unless you're good at actual C sharp coding, um, then you'll probably have to do it better than chat GPT and be able to get to do it yourself. But if you want to use your own custom actions, but you can't code and you can only use Playmaker, that's how you do it. And also you can then Keep updating it, adding things to it by telling it here. Just obviously make notes of what you want to happen. If it doesn't give it to you, make sure you're clear about what you want it to do. Okay, and that is it. If you found this video 
useful, please hit like and subscribe for more tutorials. And until next time, bye-bye.